<clears throat> so the very first thing we want is we want that one in the top corner. Do we have it already? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Then the next step is let's get a zero down below the one. So what row could I manipulate to get rid of that two? Row two? Well, we want to create a new row two. So in order to get row rid of that three. two, I'm going to multiply row one by what number? Negative two. Negative two. Good. So I'm going to say negative two times row one plus row two will become my new row two. So you can do this even though you you don't want to like <clears throat> touch row. I thought you didn't want to touch row one because it already has that one up there. Oh, good question. So all we're doing is manipulating it in this one step. And after this step, row one is going to remain exactly the same as it is. So this is just an algorithmic step to, cre to create a new row two. I will show you on the next one. So when we get there. So what we're going to do is multiply all of these by negative two. So I'll just go down the row. You'll have negative two, positive two, negative two, and negative 16. And then plus, 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 plus all of the uh, entries in row two. So two, three, negative one, negative two. Are we good with that? <coughs> yes. Okay, now add them up. Zero, five, negative three, negative 18. This is my new row two. So for my new matrix, we're gonna have one, negative one, one, eight, so row one stays exactly the same because all we did in blue is just create a new algorithm to create a new row two. So now my row two is going to be what? It's going to be that zero, five, negative three, negative Good. 18. Zero, five, negative three, negative 18. And then row three stays the same. And we are doing this the long way because you could do multiple row operations at the same time. So we could have gotten rid of row three as well, but we'll take our time with this. Okay, so now we have the zero where we want it. Oops. Next, we want another zero down here. So what row could I manipulate again to help me get rid of that three? I have a quick question real quick. Go ahead. <clears throat> so to like, uh clear it out we would have to do from top to bottom so like once we cleared out that zero we wouldn't change that five we would um, yeah to that's that's good we could change that five into a one so you can handle these any way you want oh okay. but i just see it simpler to make zeros all the way down first before we even get there because we could say if you want to make this five into a one multiply all of row two by one fifth but then what type of fractions will you be left with? Because you'll get a one, you'll get a three fifths and a negative 18 fifths. If you want to do that, that's definitely fine. Like I said, there's many ways to work these. I just want to get rid of those to make, I just want to make zeros down below. And right now it seems pretty easy because row one has that one and we can manipulate it very easily. So try to make it simpler to keep it whole numbers first. Exactly, and if you get fractions, don't worry. Like sometimes you'll get a fraction. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so this means my new row operation is gonna be negative three times R1 plus R3, which will give me my new row three. So once again, let me just minimize that a bit. We'll take negative three 
and multiply it by all the values in row one. So negative, again, negative three, positive three, negative three, and negative 24. Plus, 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 plus. And then all of the values in row three, three, negative two, negative nine, and nine. Now, does that make sense again? Yeah. Okay. So now add them up. Zero, one, negative 12, and negative, what is that, 15? Zero, one, 12, and negative 15. So now here's my new row three. So row one stays the same, one, negative one, one, eight. Row two stays the same, zero, five, negative three, negative 18. And now my new row three is what? Zero, one, negative 12, negative 15. Good. Okay, perfect. And now, <clears throat> what we want is, the next step is we want a one in the middle on our diagonal. So we can get rid of that five or we can do something really simple. We can row swap. And if we row swap, will I get a one in that middle? Yeah. If, if I swap these two rows, we'll get the one that we want, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's probably one of the easiest moves we could do. So let's do that. We're gonna say row two, swap row three. And now my new matrix is one, negative one, one, eight, zero, one, negative 12, negative 15, and then Row three is now zero, five, negative three, negative 18. Okay, perfect, we're almost there. <clears throat> now, what we want is a zero here, a zero there. So how can we get rid of that five? What type of manipulation? What row looks exactly like row three? Row one. Row one has four entries in it, right? So if I, you have to think about it. So if I use row one, that's gonna put an entry here that I don't need. So if, just, sorry. Go, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say, so just use row two, since it's Very the good. most similar in terms. Exactly. So, so we're just gonna multiply by that by negative five? Exactly. Because what's negative five times zero? Oh, I see what you mean, because if you did row one, it would make another problem. Okay. Exactly, and would make more work for us. So what we're gonna do is say negative five times row two, plus row three is gonna become my new row three. So now take negative five and multiply <clears throat> all of these numbers by negative five. So you'll get zero, negative five, what's that, positive 60, and that positive 75, And now put all your entries from row three. Zero, five, negative three, and negative 18. Does that look okay? Yeah. Okay, add them up. Zero, zero, 57, and what's 75 minus 18? Like 47? Close. 50, 57, 57. 57. 
<clears throat> and now we have our new matrix. One, negative one, one, eight, zero, one, negative 12, negative 15. And now zero, zero, 57, 57. Hey, look at that. And all we have to do now is what? A one in the bottom right corner. Good. Change that 57 into a one. How can we do that? Do we divide it by itself? Exactly. Good. <clears throat> Very good. So what we're going to say now is 1 over 57 times row 3 will become my row 3. Wait, so you don't have to use another row for this? You don't. You just, exactly. you just do it in itself? Uh-huh. <clears throat> so you can divide that by itself. So if we did that, you'd have... Zero, zero, one, one. And then we'd get one, negative one, one, eight, zero, one, negative 12, negative 15, zero, zero, one, one. Hey, look at that. We did it without being pressed for time. We got the form that we want. And now let's go ahead and convert it back to a system. So how would I rewrite the top row back as a system of equations, as a linear equation? X minus Y plus Z equals eight. Good. The next one? Y minus 12Z equals negative 15. Good. And the last one. Z equals one. Hey, we have one answer so far. So now we just find the others, right? Y minus 12 times one equals negative 15. Y minus 12 equals negative 15. Add the 12 over and Y equals negative three. <clears throat> x minus negative 3 plus 1 equals 8. x plus 3 plus 1 equals 8. x plus 4 equals 8. And x equals 4. Solution is 4, negative 3 and one. <clears throat> there you go. And you could, of course, check it as well. All right. So that was our matrix example. Any questions on that? I feel like this is a Rubik's Cube with math. <laughs> but a lot more fun. <clears throat> All right, everybody good? I messed something up working on it myself, but that's fine. No, you messed up a number or what? I messed up the, uh, the stuff on the, um, on the, the right side. I don't know what I did wrong. Somehow my one became a negative one. And uh, everything else was right. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you left it as negative 57. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It happens. See that, guys? Signs kill. Signs kill. That's why we throw in the calculator and we'd be done with it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> okay, cool.
Uh, I'll leave this last one out. I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, it's actually really cool what you end up with. But if we have time after class, we'll go over it. I want Carl to do his thing. And whatever time is remaining, we can leave open for questions or we can attempt this one. This one's cool because a whole row will zero out. Yeah. That <laughs> means something special. That means something's free. <laughs> yeah. well, that means a at least one thing's free. Yeah, something's free. Okay, perfect. Everybody good?